I'm going to use Wes. I'm the chef at Aquabile Gaucho, and today I'm just going to show you how to make a very simple muscle preparation. Okay, so these are Pan Cove mussels. They're fresh, they're local, right off of Woodby Island. Uh, Pan Cove mussels. Uh, you want to store your mussels with a wet towel over the top of them, and you want to not buy more mussels than you'll sell in one day. So I start off with just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And then start with a little bit of shallots. I'm just gonna sweat those for about a minute. You can vary depending on how hot your flame is. Now we add the garlic. You don't want to add your garlic and shallots at the same time, otherwise the garlic will burn. And a little chili flake. Next, I go in there with the mussels. Now if you're gonna have an entree, I usually figure about one pound per person. about 12 ounces. I'm just going to toss these to coat and go in with white wine. About a quarter cup there. And I'm just going to immediately cover those. So yeah, we just want to cover the, cover the mussels for about two minutes. You kind of wait till you'll see some steam kind of poof out of the sides and when that happens, your mussels have just opened. Just kind of remove the lid there. Take a look. Yep, most of them are open, you, you're done. These are, these are there right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those into the bowl. Okay, now I'm just gonna return the pan to the stove just to finish up the sauce for it. And so inside the mussels, there was a lot of their own natural juices. And now that's just part of our cooking liquid. So we just got the white wine, garlic, shallot, chili flake, the mussel liquor. So see how it's bubbling right there? Now I'm gonna come in with about uh, two ounces of butter. I'm just gonna kind of swirl that in there. Now I'll add my parsley. It's kind of towards the end of the cooking process, otherwise you'll get a little darker color. And kind of see how the sauce is nice and smooth. So you multiply, and you're good to go there. And right back over the top of the mussels. And that's our simple preparation for Penco mussels.